Welcome to the final video, everybody. It is video number three, where we're gonna take that multi-process welder behind me, and we're gonna weld on 220 volt power. So if you're just joining us on video three, don't start watching it right now. Go back to video one, where we pick up the gas cylinders, then go to video number two, where we weld with this machine on 110 volt power with the four gas mixes we pick up, and then hit that subscribe button. So all of you that watched one and two, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using this machine back here on 220 volt power with the four gas mixes on a quarter inch horizontal fillet weld. We're gonna be welding the front and back, cross-sectioning the part to see what our penetration profiles are with the four different gas mixes. And we're bumping it up a wire size to 035. So I'm ready, you should be ready, let's do this. We are set up for 100% CO2 with 035-70S6 wire on the steel line. I'm going to set my wire feed speed to about 560 inches a minute, which gives me about 27.6 volts. We are on 230 single phase, and with the CO2, we got to be really high in the voltage. So 27.6 volts is pretty high for this gas mix because we need to be. Um, I always do a test run, so that way I know I'm comfortable. And the arc shot, you know, we are getting a little bit of spatter, you know, because we are running 100% CO2, and I didn't want my bolts um, that high. Now, look at the weld seam. It is pretty consistent. Uh, we do have a little bit of spatter and silicon, but as far as, like, definition and profile, really good. All right, I'm going to switch the gas over to 7525 CO2. Still running 035 wire on the steel line. We're going to set our wire feed speed to about 445 inches a minute at 25.9 volts. If you compare this to 100% CO2 on the last test, we're about a two volt difference. So think about the heat distortion in the plate and whatever you're welding. A two volt difference is pretty big. The arc is very consistent in this. Uh, the bead profile, look at that. Very clean, not a lot of spatter, very consistent. I think 7525 did a good job. And next up is 9010 CO2. Still with 035 solid wire on the steel line. Setting our wire feed speed to 475 inches a minute. About 25.8 volts. So voltage, yeah, we're about the same volts as 7525, but we're a little bit more wire feed speed. The arc on this, this spray sound is very smooth. Very consistent. I like the 9010 in the spray arc. And take a look at this weld. Very consistent, no spatter, all the toes wet in really nice. Awesome. And last but not least is 95.5 oxygen with 035 70S6 wire set on the steel line. We're going to set this machine to 490 inches a minute, which gives us 23 volts. 23 volts is literally like 40% less voltage compared to any of the gas mixtures we used. So if you think of voltage, think about total heat input in the part. And listen to this arc. It's smooth. You can tell it's driving the penetration into the plate. Um, very smooth. Let's check out the bead profile. Got this camera. Yep. Look at this. Really smooth. Got a couple pieces of spatter that would just fall off, but very consistent. Like it. Even though my chop saw caught on fire, I still got them all cut in half. Booyah. I picked up this muratic acid. It's not that strong, but it will work. Let's get it nice and shiny with this Norton Rapid Blend. Grab your Q-tip and dip, 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 and then dab, 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 dab. Here's a glimpse of the 95.5 oxygen after cross section. 
This is the cross section of the 9010 CO2. And this is 7525 CO2. In the last one, 100% CO2. So that concludes part number three. I hope you enjoyed it. And for all of you that watch one, two, and three, or just three, what is the best gas for your 110, 220 MIG welder? Do you know by now? What is the best gas? Well, there is no clear answer because it depends on a lot, of, a lot of different things. It depends on what's your application. So what do you weld on? What plate thickness do you weld on? Do you weld on 60 thousandths? Uh, plate? Do you weld on eighth inch? Do you weld on quarter? Do you weld on three eighths? Do you weld on one inch? So if you don't know these details like thickness or what you're looking for like weld quality You have no idea. I can't tell you exactly which gas mix is the best for your 110 220 MIG welder You need to look at your application. The next thing you need to look at is quality. What kind of quality are you looking for? Are you looking for no spatter? Are you looking for less heat distortion? Are you looking for less fume generation? Are you looking for more penetration? What kind of quality um, are you looking for for that project? You know, did you bid that project low for that end customer? And 100% CO2 doesn't matter, you know, because 100% CO2 didn't really weld that bad. You just got to chisel some of the spatter off, maybe use some more abrasive. So weld quality, I can't tell you which gas from those four, which one you got to pick out because well quality depends on you, how you bid it, what you look for as far as your standards. The third thing is pricing. Pricing of the gas, okay? 100% CO2 is going to be the cheapest of all. So that little 80 that I got, you know, that was somewhere around 15 to $20 to fill. So if you look at 75, 25 in that little gas bottle, it's about 20% more. And if you're looking at 90-10 or 95-5 oxygen, you're talking on top of 75-25, it's 50% more. So there is a big price jump between the gas mixes. So does price pay a factor in, the, in those, the gas that you choose? Yeah, it could. You know, if you're looking for quality, um, you know, you might want to spend a little bit more money for that 90-10 gas mix to where you can do that thinner gauge and the thicker gauge with a nice spray arc. So those are the three things, quality, application, and price. So when you're looking at gas or even welding machines, look at those three things and determine which gas best fits your application or what you do in your shop. Um, I did a poll recently on Instagram. My Instagram is at MilkyCereal83. And if you look at this, 45% said 75-25 was the best. 55% said 90-10 was the best. So you know, it could go 50-50. Again, it depends on those three variables. Focus on those three variables before you decide, because I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta decide for yourself, because every shop is different. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the notification button so you can see uh, when I have future content out. And again, thanks for watching. Live life to the fullest, boys and girls. Thank you.